Hi everyone, I'm Angela from Belizing.com and we are in Belize City. I am at the Belize Audubon Society office right now. I'm meeting with Miss Darius. We'll be doing an interview with her and she's going to talk a little bit more about the Belize Audubon Society, what they're about and what they do as a non-profit organization. So let's go! Darish Chuk and I'm the Environmental Education and Communications Director here at the Belize Audubon Society. The Belize Audubon Society is the oldest conservation non-governmental organization in Belize. The movement that started what we are today, Belize Audubon Society, started in the 1960s. And in 1969, a group of 15 Belizeans who were nature lovers, who were birders, sat down and created Belize Audubon Society. Today, we are 45 strong, 45 staff. We're nature lovers, birders, conservationists, scientists, and we are the oldest and largest organization, conservation organization in Belize. As a conservation organization, one of our main goals is to get Belizeans to support conservation. We do this through seven protected areas that we co-manage with the government of Belize. We use the protected areas to engage Belizeans and to show them the importance of managing our natural resources and how us as Belizeans can benefit from proper management of our natural resources. We have a well-established environmental education program. We started in the early years with advocacy and education, so that's a strong area for us. We work with the communities living adjacent to the seven protected areas that we co-manage. We're also in the classroom in Belize City and all over the country interacting with students and creating that awareness again about natural resources, about protected areas, and again us as Belizeans, why it's important that we manage our natural resources. For us to continue to be healthy, happy, beautiful people here in Belize, we need to protect our natural resources. As a member, you get a voice. You become a part of this team that is actively advocating and working towards the proper management of our natural resources that benefits all Belizeans. You see, you can visit our office or one of our protected areas and just sign up to be a member. We have different categories, so depending on what suits you, there's a family, there's an individual, there's even a child membership, there's even a business membership. So whatever suits you, you just sign up, talk to one of our staff members, and you pay an annual membership fee. You can also visit our website, um, www.beleaseaudubon.org, and fill out an online membership form. You submit that, and we have a membership service manager who will get back in touch with you. So we co-manage seven protected areas, and they span um, different ecosystems across the country of Belize, from marine to terrestrial. We have Coxcomb Basin Wildlife Sanctuary in the south of Belize. We have Crooked Tree Wildlife Sanctuary, which is a wetland of international importance. We have Guanacaste National Park right there, that green space right outside of Belmopan. We have St. Herman's Blue Wall National Park, which has the second longest cave system in Belize, the St. Herman's Cave. And those are some of the protected areas, um, along with Half Moon Key and Blue Hole. And of course, Victoria Peak. Victoria Peak Natural Monument, of course, is another protected area. Um, it's not a protected area that um, anybody can just walk up to and easily get to the peak. Um, you have to plan what we call an, a Victoria Peak expedition. So it takes about three days. You need to get a guide um, and you just walk through the forest and enjoy that nice hike up to the top. My name is Darish Chuk. I'm a proud team member of the Belize Audubon Society. You can become one too. Join the Belize Audubon Society today, become a member, help to create a balance between people and the environment. Let's go Belizing! So we just got done with our interview. I hope you learned something new about the Belize Audubon Society. If you're not a member yet, make sure you become a member. It's for a good cause, it's to save and conserve our resources so make sure you get on that let's go belizing